It looks like it's still a tropical storm. And then as we go all the way into Saturday, before it could hit land again in the panhandle, somewhere east of uh, Pensacola, it looks like. And again, we'll watch that may not become a hurricane, but tomato, tomato. I don't know if it really matters if you get a strong tropical storm or a weak category one. Again, we'll be watching back here at home. This is just easy, cheesy. Why do we not still have baseball going on? This weather is crazy. 74 Monroe, 71 Detroit, 70 Ann Arbor, and we've got 70s everywhere. I think we're uh, on pace to tie a record. We set record high temps Saturday and Sunday, and today's record is 75. That's right where we should end up. Overnight down to 56, and then one more day of very mild weather tomorrow before it all comes to a crashing halt. Cold front bringing some showers, and that will be the end of this crazy stretch. Not just a day or two, we've been almost a week of beautiful stuff. And looking at the satellite radar, you can see a couple of showers up in the UP. Liquid, not frozen, but the defining line back through the high plains and Rockies where they are seeing snow. That is coming our way late tomorrow night with that cold front. Again, not today. Here's a look at tomorrow increasing clouds, so not quite as warm, but still managing to get into those low 70s. Our best rain chances will be after midnight Tuesday, early Wednesday, which is Veterans Day. But fear not, it's no washout by any means. We're going to get some mid-morning sun bouncing back, but only 50s on Wednesday. And Steve, we're 